I started painting signs about 35 years ago, really by accident. There was a man named Fred Andre. He learned how to paint signs, and he had been lettering quite a while, and he was really good. He took me under his wing and just showed me all the ropes. I had to get a sign kit that would hold my paint and hold my brushes. I used the same sign kit that I used when I was 19 years old. In the old days, there were journeyman signmen would just put their sign kit in the back of the car with their paints and they would go to small communities and do the sign lettering they could do there and then they would drive along to the next town and do it again. It becomes sort of a Rorschach inkblot. Painting from inside the mind, you come up with things that surprise you, and it's very scary, actually. <laughs> I'll take paint and I'll smear it around, I'll try to do some random things, uh, you know, and I have no idea what I'm actually going to paint. Like looking at the clouds, um, you'll see a face. Of course, the face isn't there, it's an illusion, so you have to kind of do a little at a time, and eventually it kind of you coax it into submission. They have a mind of their own, and they go in their own directions. It's fun for me sometimes to not know where the painting's going. While I'm painting, it seems like it does it by itself most of the time. I don't feel like I'm actually having to do much. It's just like I've, I'm, I'm allowed to watch this thing develop. I learned through doing my paintings that I can hide lots of things. I was doing a wall mural for a client on the Cleves Landing. I put my profile in the painting. It took up about a third of the painting. It was huge. And, I, and I'm doing this whole thing thinking I'm bound to get caught. A year later, I went back and I pointed to the mural and said, did you see my portrait in there? And he looked at it and cocked his head a bit and said, no, I don't see it at all. I said, well, it doesn't exist until I point it out. And then when I point it out, you're not gonna be able to not see it. And so I showed it to him and he just laughed out loud. He thought that was the funniest thing ever. Every, every painting is different. It's very fun to me to, uh, to watch a painting go from nothing to something.